it's time for my final thought. I once heard baseball described like this. You throw the ball, you catch the ball, you hit the ball. Well, for eight and a third innings last night, Steven Strasburg proved why the first one is the most important. On a night when it mattered the most, he was a master out there. After giving up two early runs, he settled in and blanked the home team the rest of the way, stunning the home crown crowd into silence. It was like he stood on the mound and just yelled, silence. You know, it was for this night that he was drafted first by the Nationals 10 years ago. At that time, he was called the most hype pick in draft history by ESPN and the most hype and closely watched pitching prospect in the history of baseball by Sports Illustrated. And in his first major league debut in June of 2010, he looked like it, racking up 14 strikeouts, a franchise record. And then the injuries came. The torn ligament, the surgery, the rehab, limits on how many innings he could pitch, the whispers around the league and the sports world about his longevity, the shutdown in the 2012 NLDS, being crowded out of the spotlight by a flashy young man with flowing hair and a big bat. Through all of this, Strasburg just kept it moving, racking up strikeouts, becoming a three-time All-Star, signing a nice contract extension, quietly and efficiently getting himself to this season to last night. That flashy young man with the hair and the bat has gone up the road now, but he's still here, leading the league in wins this year and putting his team in position to win the whole thing. When he walked off that mound last night, I realized we've been taking him for granted. He's so quiet, so smooth, we don't give him the credit he deserves. Well, last night, he showed us who and what he is, a winner. Right after the team clinched the pennant, he was asked why some teams get a chance at the title and some don't. He said, you have a great year, and you can run into a buzzsaw. Maybe this year, we are the buzzsaw. Hey man, last night, you were the buzzsaw and you cut them down. So whatever happens, as a Nats fan, as a Washingtonian, I tip my hat to you, Steven Strasburg.